Hello and welcome to the fabulous Yas Marina circuit here in Abu Dhabi, the location for this year's Young Driver Test. Over the next two days, we'll go behind the scenes as we watch the teams put the next generation of potential Formula One drivers through a series of tests to uncover the next superstar. Ask any of the team principals whether outright speed is the sole requirement, and they'll tell you that consistency, feedback and attitude are equally important. Still a few record times wouldn't hurt a driver's chances of securing a seat for next season. And right on cue, the first engine of the day has fired into life right below my commentary box. So I think we'll soon see a car out on track. Hey, good to see you again. As your race engineer, it's my job to support you this weekend. When you're out on track, we'll remain in contact via radio. I'll feed you information. Let's run through the basic controls and ensure the guys have set the car correctly so that you're comfortable. First, let's check that the accelerator and brake pedals are a good fit. Great, let's check the steering lock next. Move the wheel from left to right for me. Next up are the gears. The box is either manual or automatic, but you can override the auto at any time by using the gear up and down controls. Pull the right paddle to go up a gear, and the left paddle to come down. Okay, everything looks good. We're going to do a simple straight line aero run first. Let me know when you're ready to head out. Ready. Okay, before we start, I want to let you know that you can change the camera position by pressing the change camera button. Try cycling through them until you find the one you like. If you want to change your camera or assists, you can do it from the pause menu whenever you want. The first test is a simple straight line aero test. Head down the track accelerating past 257 kph then brake so that you come to a complete stop in the designated area. The engine's locked to lean, so it's down a little on power at the moment, but it'll give us a consistent reading. and you're on the brakes at just the right time.
Modern Formula One cars have around 750 brake horsepower being sent to the rear wheels. The delivery can be very violent, so you must be careful to be smooth and precise with all your inputs so that you don't unsettle the car and cause a spin. At speed, the car's aerodynamics generate a lot of downforce, forcing the car to the track. To work efficiently with downforce, you should put a lot of force into the brake pedal initially, slowly reducing the pressure as they turn in for the corner, as you'll have less grip at this stage and be asking the tyres to work harder. When navigating a corner, stay as wide as possible before sweeping in to clip the corner's apex, taking as straight a line as possible. This allows you to get on the accelerator earlier and straighten up the car on the exit of the corner, slowly increasing the pressure on the accelerator as you exit the corner until you're confident the rear wheels will no longer spin, at which point you can use full power. All complete, we're ready. Test, we need you to accelerate towards the hairpin, turn in at the correct point, hit the apex and accelerate past 297 kph out of the corner. We need you to stop in the designated area at the end of the straight to complete the test. to restart the action before the damage occurs. You have a limited number of flash... You missed the apex, you might want to give it another go. We need you to accelerate towards the hairpin, turn in at the correct point, hit the apex and accelerate past 297 kph out of the corner. We need you to stop in the designated area at the end of the straight to complete the test. Your line and corner speeds are good. Complete. Ready. Okay. Time to try stringing together a couple of corners. Turn in so you hit the corner's apex and get on the gas early as you exit. It'll be against the clock this time, so we've turned the engine up to normal. We need you to stop in the designated area at the end of the straight to complete the test. together a couple of corners. Turn in so you hit the corner's apex and get on the gas early as you exit. It'll be against the clock this time, so we've turned the engine up to normal. We need you to stop in the designated area at the end of the straight to complete the test. yourself there. Try braking earlier and harder. Okay, 
Time to try stringing together a couple of corners. Turn in so you hit the corner's apex and get on the gas early as you exit. It'll be against the clock this time, so we've turned the engine up to normal. We need you to stop in the designated area at the end of the straight to complete the test. together a couple of corners. Turn in so you hit the corner's apex and get on the gas early as you exit. It'll be against the clock this time, so we've turned the engine up to normal. We need you to stop in the designated area at the end of the straight to complete the test. Try stringing together a couple of corners. Turn in so you hit the corner's apex and get on the gas early as you exit. It'll be against the clock this time, so we've turned the engine up to normal. We need you to stop in the designated area at the end of the straight to complete the test. Kurz delivers an additional 80 brake horsepower to the rear wheels at the press of a button. It can be used in short bursts or all at once for around 7 seconds per lap. Kurz can be used at any time in any session and can be used for overtaking or defending. Deploying Kurz in the low gears gives the best return and can pay off greatly when used at the start. The Kurz charge will automatically refill every lap, but the Kurz system can at times develop faults. However, these can be fixed while the driver is still out on track. DRS adjusts the angle of the rear wing, which reduces drag and gives around 10 to 12 km per hour extra top speed. It can only be used in defined activation points during the race when you're within one second of the car in front. It can be used whenever the driver wants in practice or qualifying, but only when dry tyres are fitted. And that's the end of day one of the Young Drivers Test here at Abu Dhabi. Join us tomorrow for day two. Good morning. I hope you're feeling refreshed as we've got some more tests for you to run through today. Let me know when you're ready to start today's programme and we'll get you out on track. All set. Okay, before we start, I want you to perform a quick systems check for Kerr. And 
DRS. Press and hold the curse button for me, please. Great. Now try activating the DRS. Press it once to open it and a second time to close it. Alternatively, you can press the brake to close it. Okay, you've got a car ahead of you who looks to be practicing their race start. I want you to use both your curves and DRS to try and overtake them before you cross the finish line up ahead. Whatever you do, don't collide with them. Good luck. Remember to use all your curves and open your DRS when you're no longer traction limited. Okay, you've got a car ahead of you who looks to be practicing their race start. I want you to use both your curves and DRS to try and overtake them before you cross the finish line up ahead. Whatever you do, don't collide with them. Good luck. Curves and DRS to good effect and we're able to pass the car. Car's prepared, let's go. Okay, you've got three cars ahead of you. Use your curves and DRS to get to the finish line after the chicane, ahead of all of them. Don't make contact with any of them, however. We want clean passes. There are four tyre types available during a race weekend. Primes, options, intermediates and wets. Prime tyres will last the longest but have less overall grip than the option tyres. However, the increased grip from the options means they wear out faster. Intermediates are best used when the track is damp and wets should only be used in heavy rain. The best drivers don't take too much life out of their tyres. This allows them to have more race strategies open to them, as well as allowing them to run tyres with more grip for longer. The best way to avoid excessive tyre wear is by being smooth with your throttle, brake and steering inputs, and avoiding sliding the car out of corners and causing wheel spin, which will destroy tyre life. the track, so we thought we'd get you to feel the difference between a wet and a dry track. 
I want you to drive the last sector of the lap and hit every apex. Braking distances are increased in the wet, and the tyres will break traction sooner, so be careful when you exit corners.
And that's the end. Okay, it's been a great couple of days. The final thing we want you to do is experience a race start and perform the first lap. When the lights go out, pull away and drive the lap using all the techniques you've learned so far. We'll be timing you, so give it your all. The engine is dialed up to give maximum power. Enjoy it. of days. The final thing we want you to do is experience a race start and perform the first lap. When the lights go out, pull away and drive the lap using all the techniques you've learned so far. We'll be timing you, so give it your all. The engine is dialed up to give maximum power. Enjoy it.
That was a great time.
great race, just fantastic. 18 points.